Hi, I'm Dr. Blair Masters. We're out at Mashey Farms today and we're talking about the bees that they keep. This is Emily. Hey there. Emily is their beekeeper and she watches after the cattle and the sheep and the chickens and whatever else is needed. Um, they actually have a Facebook page that you should check out because they're just a seriously working farm and this brings back lots of memories for me because I grew up a half mile down the road from my grandpa's farm and um, he had mostly sheep and then he, he raised uh, corn and, and soybeans but um, this really reminds me a lot of of his farm and some of the other farms in in northern Iowa where I grew up. Um, Emily you actually have a master's yep. in in uh, agriculture. Agriculture, yeah. okay. I studied animal science and then I went on to study international agriculture. Just uh, basically trying to figure out how we can raise incomes using agriculture and uh, better agriculture practices. And I don't know if, if any of my patients are familiar, but um, bees are experiencing a crisis kind of around the world for a lot of different reasons. And um, Emily is stemming the tide on that. Um, and this really wasn't a, a big moneymaker for her, but uh, it was more of a hobby. Mm -hmm. But um, she is uh, obviously pretty successful with it. So um, she's going to be opening this up. We're going to look at the uh, the hive and see how healthy it is. You check these guys about every, you said five days? Yeah, okay. right now every five days. Yeah. Okay, okay. Well, great, yeah. great. Um, and we're putting hoods on again. No, no. Okay. <laughs> okay. Um, uh, they sell honey starting in July? Yes. Is that right? Yes. Okay. We'll have honey ready in July. And on top of that, their honey is raw. It's, you, you mm -hmm. sell it. Yeah. You, it, you don't, doesn't go anywhere and get pasteurized right. or anything like that. Right. It's, it's uh, raw honey. Um, they, these bees are, are grabbing pollen from the flowers around here, from the trees and that sort of thing. So it's all local right here to Arkansas. And when you are exposed to the pollen that the bees uh, gather, to make the honey, it helps your allergies. They've also shown that honey helps. There's a ton of phytonutrients in non-pasteurized honey. That's the raw honey. Um, and when you pasteurize stuff, you you basically heat it up and kill all the kind of good stuff in it. And in some ways, it makes it safer and makes it look prettier and that sort of thing. But in some ways, it, it really doesn't help it be healthier as well. So um, anyway, you sell raw honey and you sell it in jars. Uh -huh. And you've got a Facebook page yep. that you do that through. Yes. Okay. Yeah. Well, let's Find go ahead there. here. Okay. Hood up. Okay. Sir. Okay. <laughs> Zip this up, I guess. Yep. Is that right? Thanks for the help. Uh -huh. Friends. <laughs> Perfect. Okay. Well, I'm, I'm excited to take a look at this. I've always seen these from afar, but never was in a situation where we uh, saw one really opened up right up close. Um, so I'm, I'm excited to take a look. Do you need me to do anything with that smoke? Um, sure, yeah, you can hold it. And once, once I open up, you can give a couple of sprays and inside here. Okay. In here? Yep. Okay. Perfect. Alrighty, and we'll start open them up and give a couple of sprays in there. In here? A couple of, yeah. The first one? Yep. Okay. Am I doing good? Here? Yeah, I'm doing great. Okay. Alright. Now these top boxes are our honey boxes. Some of them are still full from the winter the stores that I, I left for them to eat over winter and they just didn't need it so uh we'll save those for honey harvest in July and it'll still be good then yeah yeah okay. they keep it they keep it fresh and they maintain the temperature in there and the humidity so the honey stays at the exact right water content and all of that that is fascinating yeah, it is cool. the bees do all that they do all that yep so they're doing most of the work in this process. They're doing all the work. I'm just watching, <laughs> which is so fun. Oh my gosh, that is a lot of bees. So now. here we're getting it. You want to give them some sprays of the smoke? All, all through here? Yep. Okay. And you said the smoke makes them kind of um, think there's a forest fire coming, so they start eating some of the honey. Yeah. And just kind of chill out. They, yeah, they just start preparing for, for their hive to be 
leaving them. <laughs> But it never actually does, of course. So yeah. uh, it's just a temporary kind of lull. Okay. We have okay. We'll go back into the frame to see how it kind of emptied off the top here. So yeah. So this is the start of the brood frame. This is where the queen starts laying her eggs. And tell me if I'm going into too much detail. No, no. This um, is fascinating stuff, I think. So she'll, she has these two boxes to lay all the eggs she wants. And she can lay thousands of eggs a day. And all those eggs will become honey, or um, honey will become bees in just a couple of weeks. So, um, so you're checking to see if she's laying. Yep, that's our that's the main goal this time of year. See if she's laying. Okay. Um, the reason I'm checking the hives every five days, like you mentioned, is because uh, all these worker bees are trying to uh, supersede their queen this time of year and trying to take, trying to create a new queen. So they might steal one of her eggs and make a new queen out of it. So I'm trying to prevent that from happening. <laughs> oh my gosh, yeah. that's crazy. So yeah, there's... So this is healthy, this is what you Yeah, have that's good. These are all eggs. These are about to hatch as bees. Okay. Which is very cool. And then there's, in the, all the other cells, there's likely younger eggs that we that are harder to see. Uh -huh. But in a, in a few days, they'll start um, adding in jelly. What do they, I don't know, all of the things that they add. Um, royal they, jelly? They feed, is that what it is? Royal jelly is for the queen. Okay. Um, they feed pollen to the little ones. Yeah, so all these worker bees are meant to take care of the babes. Okay. The, the eggs and the baby. Yeah, babies. okay. And that's yeah. what they're doing is, yep. is helping helping the, the eggs. That's what they're doing. Okay. Yeah. And if you uh, follow me very long, you know that I recommend eating Paleolithic. Um, now, honey is sugar, so it can be overdone just like any sugar, but it, honey is one of the approved sugars on a Paleolithic diet along with maple syrup. So using raw local honey is really uh, kind of at the top of the list if you could do that. My wife actually asked me if I could buy some honey while I was out here, but they don't have any. Uh, they don't, don't have any left over from last year. Yeah. Um, so we'll have to wait for, for July, but that's that's okay. Yeah, honey is a hot, it's a hot commodity. It goes pretty quick. Hard to, it's hard to have enough. There's another frame of, of eggs. So this is looking pretty healthy to you. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. They look for a good, a good pattern to make sure the queen is laying consistently throughout, um, and it looks like she is. Okay. Make sure that the bees are, are sticking around the eggs to care for them. And then how do you yeah. keep them from stealing an egg? Uh, it's just every five days I have to go in and see if there's a special type of cell, if it's a special type of egg that they've laid. I give them a little bit of sugar in case they need it. Uh -huh. Yeah, they wow. take care of themselves. That's amazing. Yep. That's amazing. Well, I really appreciate you showing us this, yeah. and uh, we're all looking forward to July. Yeah, yeah. me too. <laughs> okay. Thanks for watching.